Today I have a double bill review where I will show you Grey Skiers Patriot Gloves and Grey Skiers Air Pads. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today I've got a double bill from this company, Grey Skiers, and I'll be showing you later on their air mitts and what they're like. But first of all I am going to start off with their Patriot Velcro boxing gloves. As you can see these are in the blue white and red they've got a union jack on the thumb you've got grey skiers on the rear you've also got grey skiers at the rear of that wrist and then they've gone with a long velcro strap with some elastic that wraps all the way around and so these gloves are 70 uk pounds and um, on there as you can see you've got uh, not only have you got Patriot, but you've also got four pros by pros. Uh, I'm not sure on that strap line, bit naff really, but uh, you know I know they've tried to put something on there. So I don't think that's the best. Um, also, as I come round, these gloves are made in Pakistan. They're 16 ounce, and as I say, they do them in the Velcro, but they also do them in a lace version, which I'll I'll review going forward. But let's have a closer look at these gloves. Okay, so you've got grey skiers here. And then as you come down, you can see you've got that badge there, plastic badge. Obviously, we've got some sharp edges there, which I'll talk about later when I'm talking about sparring. On that angled wrist that goes right there. Okay, and as I bring that round, you can see you've got grey skiers. Patriot T and you've got 6-3 I don't really know what that means 6-3 but there you go uh, on here as well you have got Patriot and as I bring that so opening up so that's that little bit of velcro where it meets and then it's a big long velcro strap and then on the front end you have got four pros by pros that sort of strap line now it does look like that's run a little bit but I have um, obviously use disinfectant on these gloves because of all the COVID rules and whatnot and I think that that may have caused that so I'm not going to sort of say that that is the gloves fault it may very well be the disinfectant that we've got at the gym that has caused that to happen okay so let's just have a look at the knuckle area in there you've got a uh, tri-foam combination uh, it's a soft knuckle area and that is really protective for the hand and also for your sparring partner on the thumb you've got the Union Jack, you've got a leather attachment and that is a, a really sort of, if you're patriotic, if you're patriotic and you're from the United Kingdom obviously uh, that is, uh, that's the glove for you. And then let's just come on to that wrist, it is a really long wrist, there is the front there, you've got the, you've got the elastic there and then it comes round, you've got some padding here either side some soft padding at the back you've got some more padding there and it wraps around there and at the front meets as well okay so I would I would make that that shorter as I always say when it comes to long uh, straps on the wrists okay so again again as I bring that round you would have to tape over that badge if you were sparring in these that could easily cut someone and let's have a look at the face of the glove it's got Patriot on the grip bar you've got that perforated palm you've got the elastic to stop the gape that is sort of there and then you've got the front facing velcro there as well let's just have a look at the stitching um, I would say the stitching is decent uh, there's a few loose threads here and there so bring this like so you can see the 16 ounce indicator you can also see they've got a moisture wicking inner lining um, alongside that sort of label that's warning 
uh, against the dangers of sort of combat sports uh, but that's a nice lining on these gloves as well Okay, first up to the scales is the left glove. These have got a Velcro, a big Velcro on them, and they weigh 16.9, that one. Okay, that is within tolerances, especially given that big Velcro. And then the right glove, uh, we have got 16.3. Again, within tolerances of the green of my uh, scale. And let's put on these air pads as well and see how much they weigh. 14.6 and 14.6 both exactly the same and I have to say really lightweight for the size of those air pads okay so let's have a look at the comfort obviously you've got that velcro that that actually fastens at the front and slide my hand in and then obviously wrap that around like so Okay, now the first thing when I put my fingers into the finger compartment is it is a little bit lumpy just at the rear and at the ends of the of the fingertips, okay? And as I've been using them, that sort of that hasn't got any better from when I first put them on. Um, and so that is an area that I would improve. Also, uh, when I put the other one on, there is as I open up, when I open up with this one, there's a little bit of slippage in the finger area where the liner is moving. And the same, it's a bit worse in this one where my fingers sort of slip to about there when I'm opening the hand. So I haven't got full control of the ends of the gloves because as you're doing it, it slips a little bit and slips a little bit. So again, because of that inner lining, that could be improved. Um, it's a bit tight on the finger ends. I've got a bit of pressure on the end of the thumb, like almost sort of pinching there. It's not massively uncomfortable, but it is worth noting. And then we've got this long strap. Now, as you know, I'm never a big fan of long straps. With this one in particular, what concerns me is you've only got a surface area at the front that is very little. So I would say that once that sort of starts to go, that might be that that's the end of the gloves because you can't really do it if that's flapping around. They've got that elastic. It does provide a nice wrist, but I'm not convinced that that will be super durable because of the amount of Velcro that is actually making contact. So let me just put this one on as well. Okay, but other areas of the glove, again, this is my sort of concerns. You do get used to the long the longer um, strap as you can see it's sort of got a, a, like a diagonal going up uh, first seen on rival gloves gloves of course um, then I did prefer these on the bag I must admit they're not super uncomfortable uh, but they've got some areas where they could be improved um, the thumbs are nicely tucked in for sparring so no problem with thumbing in the eye what I would say is that badge there does need to be taped over. If you're going to spar in these gloves, then that badge there is sharp all the way around. So you could easily cut someone or scratch someone with that. I would, if I was grey skiers, they need to put over some leather on that to en encapsulate that plastic badge so it's not dangerous. If I was using these for sparring, I definitely would tape them up which, again, that's a bit of a faff when you've got a Velcro glove. 
So as I say, on the bag I preferred them mainly because of the wrist support. For sparring, again, tape over that. Um, the opening of the hands can be a bit of an effort and also that slippage in the finger area. I'd like to also see the ounce indicator on the outside of the glove. At the minute, all we've got is the ounce, ounce indicator, which is on the inside of the glove. Again, when it comes to sparring, you really need it on the outside of the glove so the trainer can tell straight away that your gloves are big enough for the spar. Okay, so let's put on screen the Fit2Box ratings card. So they're going to go into the fit box welterweight Velcro price division for gloves between 51 UK pounds to 100 UK pounds or 61 US dollars to 120 US dollars. As you can see, I've gone style 93, comfort 91, durability 91, uh, mainly due to that small contact of the Velcro, which I think over time might be the weak link. Sparring 91 for reasons mentioned. Bag 93, value for money 94, these gloves are 70 English pounds and I've also got a code later that I will tell you about. So for 70 English pounds these are a good glove at 92.1, check them out on my website fitboxchannel.com in the welterweight velcro price division so you can see where these gloves place against the other brands. So at 92.1 of course, they don't get any fit to box stars, and I think you're starting to realize out there now how difficult it is to get even one fit to box stars. So many gloves don't reach that, and unfortunately, these gloves, although I'd say they were good, don't reach the fit to box star score. So, what I'll do now is I will show you their air pads. So, these are the Grace air pads. And bring them around as you can see they are really big and they are superb to use with heavy hitters and I've been using these in the test period with some big lads and I, let me tell you my shoulders my elbows have all been fantastic um, and let's let's just have a closer look you've got sort of that badge there which is encapsulated in the leather so this is like a 100% cowhide matte leather this is three inches thick in terms of the padding you can get them in the gray and the black you can also get them in black and white as well um if you just see there i mean now again they've gone with the by pros by, four pros by pros on there again i think that could be improved but in terms of what they've done you've got gray skiers power on the back of the velcro you've also got that gray skiers there as You've got a pad for your wrist, which is great. And then you've got a cover, a finger cover, so you don't get any punches that sort of force your fingers back. It really is comfortable inside. You have got a ball that is really comfortable on the palm of your hand. Your fingers really do place well. And then you've got an adjustment there with the Velcro. And you've got an air pocket in there to go with that thick padding as well. So these are superb when it comes to air pads. And that's why I'm going to announce them as the new fit to box air pads champion. The previous champion was Ultimatum. I really like those, but I have to say these are 75 pounds and I like these more. Okay, so the Ultimatum ones have been great for ages. These are the new champion. Of course, winning, they're, they're good, but the winning ones are expensive. And then you've got the copy of winning, which is superior. And I would say, currently, these are my favourite air pads. Hence why they are the new fit to box air pads champion. Good. Cool.
So that was two items from Grace Gears. I haven't reviewed anything from this company before. I've been absolutely blown away by how good the air pads are. You can get these from www.gracegears.co.uk. They've also sought it fit to give my viewers a code which gives you 10% off, and that is fit to box. So that code will be on here for like, if you're watching this in three years time, that code will still be on there and still be saving you money when you buy gloves or pads or any gear from their website. As I say, just one last look at the air pads and then obviously the gloves as well. I will down the line bring you the um, lace version of these and also they do quite a few different types of pads as well. And... Uh, I've been blown away by these, but there's also some excellent other types of pads they do. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit the Box channel, and I shall speak to you soon.